So after you graduated, what was your play? What were you thinking? Well, <laughs> it's funny. We were uh, like, let's s- go to Hollywood, kid. Speaking of forward thinking, um, uh, I knew that you know there wasn't really a film industry to speak of in in Milwaukee or yeah, in as Wisconsin I in general. To. Um, it's gotten better, but but at the time there wasn't really much to speak of. Step um, by step, and that f- no, that filmed out here. I think that filmed out here. Yeah. I think I had, I just had to set there. Yeah, um, I knew that I didn't have any industry connections. I knew that I wanted to write and direct first of all, but I knew that I didn't have any industry connections, and I knew that I didn't have any any rich relatives who were going to be able to bankroll an independent film project that would make me famous. So I said, "What's the what's the middle ground? What can I do?" When I was in still in college, um, the the uh, music videos were big business. Oh, sure. At the yeah. time, and I realized, well, if I can start getting work as a music video director, I can get sort of like some on the job professional training, and in nice short doses too. Yes, in nice short doses. And and long story short, I started doing that when I was still in Milwaukee. Uh, in, in Milwaukee, for anyone um, we would recognize? Uh, no, no. There were a lot of people who who quote unquote uh, didn't make it, but were trying to make it, make it, make an impact, and make you know make a way for themselves in the music business. And a guy named a lot One pe- Change. <laughs> a lot of people thought, well, <laughs> if I if I have a uh, a self financed music video that will make me more attractive to a label who might want to sign me. That's this is what a lot of people thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, it makes um, sense. And and so there I was, you know, with virtually zero directing experience, other than a couple of you know clash projects. Um, oh, I, you asked earlier what what kind of things that I study. In addition to the screenwriting class, I remember taking um, animation classes. Oh, wow. Um, documentary classes. Um, I loved um, that's amazing uh, documentaries. Um, but anyway, so I had a little bit of a sense. They wanted to give you a little bit of exposure to, uh, you know, different things. Yeah, that's great. Um, um, and and I started. I found some guys, uh, a, a rap group in, uh, in in Milwaukee who no one's ever heard of. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> who who had uh, thirteen thousand dollars? Okay. Uh, and which was more money at that time that's than I had money. ever seen in, in at one time. And they wanted to make a music Still video. More than I've ever seen. And they to. they were going to hire a uh, 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 production company in town that specialized in commercials. Okay. And you know, so I had a meeting with these guys, and I was like, "Look, you know, it's your choice. Obviously, it's your money. But do you want someone who understands what you're trying to do, and who was who grew up, you know, watching music videos and knows how to make them, or do you want to do, you know, someone who does corporate stuff?" Right. Uh, as as their bread and butter, uh, and basically sort of like talked my way into that first job. Well, wait, how, did they find you? Did you find them? How did I? They... <laughs> I'm going way back now. I uh, when I once I decided that I was going to uh, 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 try to make music videos as my first sort of like professional foot into the business. Um, I went to first. I went to the post office, and I got a PO box. <laughs> And then I went to Kinko's, and I got some black and white business cards with my name and phone number and the PO box. Couldn't afford color, but couldn't well, couldn't afford no no. It, this was this was this baby steps. Um, and I started just sort of like spreading these business cards around town to everybody who was trying to record, you know, their demo in their home basement. That's amazing to to, to hopefully attract a, a record. What an contract. entrepreneur. Uh, again, you know, forward thinking. So, so I get this first job, and and because there was no real film industry infrastructure in Milwaukee, I had to go to Chicago, where I found a lot of my uh, primary crew people. They drove up. We shot this video in Milwaukee. So they gave you the thirteen thousand, basically. Yes. And yeah. Said you. You are. I think I probably got it in in, in installments. So I, I'm, I'm right, being, I'm but I mean, they were like, you're, say, you're my guy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then I was able to actually hire some of my classmates. Oh, awesome. To work as, uh, as crew people That's on, amazing. The, on the project. And then, so, so when I did this one video, uh, word gets around town. Oh, there's this guy who's a music video director. Huh? And then that led to a second job and then another one. And then I had a bunch of of music videos that hadn't hadn't gotten any sort of national exposure, but they were complete. I, I assembled them, and they look good. Into they, 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 look, <laughs> they at the time they look great to me. 
Uh, we were we st- I started out shooting on 16 millimeter film and quickly tried to graduate to shooting on 35 because I knew it would make the the projects look better. Yeah, uh, I took all those and I edited them, edit them into what I now know is called a reel. I yep. didn't even know the word reel uh, was a thing at the time. Um, like and- real brewery out of Van Nuys, California. <laughs> Great beer. So I go to New York. <laughs> I, s- I say, well, if I'm going to start, if I'm really going to make a living at this music video thing, I need to get. Uh, uh, nationally known artists, bigger right. budgets, and to, and to do that, I need representation. Oh wow! Look at you. So I went to New York, um, uh, not knowing uh, anybody, but I had a list of uh, music video production companies and also music video reps, which are basically like agents, yeah, but for music video directors. And Damn. I just pounded the pavement, knocked on people's doors, asked for meetings left my reel and my business card. Uh, and eventually, uh, one person took a liking to me and became my rep. And then that sort of like uh, my music video career then then began to sort of snowball. This is insane. And that's what I did for a living. That's for, amazing. For a number so of years. So even in, uh, in college, you were getting paid to do these music oh, yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'll amazing. say this, I'll say this though. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't huge money, but yeah, it, it wasn't. It was, not only it, it wasn't huge money, but not only that, but I, I at the time, in order to sort of invest in myself, I put all the money into the project. Oh. You know, so I really wasn't making any money off of the sure. first first few. But you were investing uh, in but, yourself. Yeah, but I knew if I had something uh, tangible that I could show people, then I could say, I am a legitimate director. Oh, absolutely. You know, help me find more work. Good for you. Um, and then it just sort of sort of snowballed from there. That's so awesome. So the goal... Do they still have music director or agents? Or was this a sign of the MTV Times? And I, the- I think there are probably still a few. Okay. I think most of them. You made it sound like there's like 50 of them. Well, there York. were. Well, there was, a, there, was, there was a time when there were a lot because, yeah. you know, in the, in the, excuse me, in the 90s primarily, in the 80s and, and, and mostly in the 90s, um, it was a huge, it was a booming industry. Yeah, that's how like, you sold music. You could, it was how you sold music and you could make a living. Uh, just working in the in the music video, yeah, making field. a video became the thing yeah. or whatever later um, because of that. Because things have changed, I have to imagine that most of those those music video reps have either gone out of business or they've they've sort of Adjusted, like hopped on yeah. to representing commercial directors, right? Who may occasionally do a hundred thousand dollar or a million dollar you know YouTube video right. or whatever, but that work has become so few and far between. Yeah. Um, it became unpo- impossible to, to to make a living at it. Um, but yeah, but but to answer so you got, your, your question, I, I was kind of uh, get, I was literally getting paid to do it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's so smart. Yeah. 